Howdy y'all, we're back again in rural Texas. And this time we have our Texas edition process gauge in the crosshairs ready for the ultimate gauge test. We have a few tests set up today where we'll be detonating hazards around our gauges. The goal is to see how well the case fill stands up to everything we can throw at it. We improve the two most common leak sources. First, the blowout back. We reduce the liquid fill cavity and tighten the bladder seal to ensure constant compression, regardless of the process or ambient conditions. Second, the lens interface. The sealing face contains an optimized O-ring groove providing consistent load under internal case pressure variations, guaranteeing a constant seal, as well as a re-engineered turret ring ensuring uniform clamp load under stress. We're so confident in its leak-proof design that we back it with a 10-year warranty. Now that we've raised the bar, let's see what this gauge can do. In process environments, a ruptured line can damage nearby equipment with high pressure fluid. In the next two tests, we're using fruit sandwiched between explosives to simulate a dense liquid explosion next to the gauge. First up, a pineapple. Here we go. Pineapple juice in three, two, one. It looks like pineapple everywhere. This one right here is still holding the case fill full of pineapple juice all over it. The lens is actually cracked um, due to the force, the concussion, and it is still holding case fill. Uh, so you can see the line right there. This one is still holding it here. This one is still holding it here. And that one underneath all that is still holding it there. So all four of these are still holding case fill. Awesome. Next up, a watermelon. Same test, more volume. All right, here we go. Looks like we got a nice bath of watermelon juice. This one on the back, if you think about the blast direction, it hits here, explodes out this way. This one got rained on as well, but there's, there's no problem here. Like this one just got owned, but you can see the case fill levels right up where it should be. Now it's time for an abrasive test. Let's pummel the gauges with Houston's finest coffee beans and show what particle debris does to our gauges. Let's blow it up. We good? Nice pot of joe coming right up. All right, we're hot. Here we go. So this one's got uh, tons of coffee here and no leaks. That one's got a bladder that is almost completely detached and gone and a blowout back that's been destroyed. And there might be a couple hairline cracks in the window. Believe it or not, no glycerin is leaking out of any of these. So far, we've subjected our gauges to some serious abuse and they haven't leaked at all. Let's kick it up a notch with another abrasive test. BBs with even more explosives. So we finally got one to leak. You can see we've got some case fill leaking right here. I like it obliterated the side of the blowout back here. So this one here, it's, it's missing half the blowout back plate and you can actually push on the bladder a little bit there and it's still completely sealed. 
not one drop out of this one. Um, and this one here, not one drop out of it either. Even that, like to think that the window didn't even crack and all that blast was directed right at it is very impressive. This poor guy up front really got, uh, got the brunt of the blow here, but the rest of these seem pretty good. After all those tests, we finally got a gauge to leak, but we're not stopping there. Let's perform our most destructive test. We're putting a full pound of explosives between our gauges, fruit, and sand to combine it all together. This is the ultimate pressure gauge test. That was crazy. Um, one pound of tannerite, sand flooding everywhere, cantaloupe flying in the air. And based on that, I mean, all of these, four of these gauges, uh, the case fills are still all the way to the top. So like this one here, golden case fill to the top. This one case fill to the top. This one got destroyed on the blowout back crack all the way across the back. That's all missing there. And we still have case fill to the top. So all four of these with that explosion right next to the gauge cases still survived without leaking a drop of fluid. That is incredible. So case concluded, this is phenomenal. A pound of tannerite within six inches, a foot of these gauges and no issue. Wow. After all those explosions around our Texas Edition gauge, it sure seems leak-proof to me. What test should we do next? Comment below and let us know. We'll see you next time. To another level.